everyone, and welcome to episode one of the VS. Hang on. The EVS challenge. Every Victorian snake. Not some, not most, all of them. My goal is to find every individual snake species found in the state of Victoria in a single season. Know exactly what you're thinking. Aiden, what are you doing? You can't even upload consistently every fortnight, let alone dedicate to doing something for an entire year. Well, you know what, you're probably right. But I'll still endeavour to find as many species in whatever time I can force myself to maintain dedication. Today's day one, trip one, hopefully snake one. Or two, or three. But probably none, because I've decided to take a risk and travel to one of the furthest westerly points in the state that usually only produces in the warmest months for me. 8.40 and the day's starting to finally look like day. If you look over there, it's still foggy and gross. Like the ground's not really bright yet, but I'm packing up camp. So that's when that sun, the minute that sun starts feeling warm, I can get moving so that when I get to the tin, it should be warm enough for there to be stuff under the tin. It is a herb. It's not quite a snake now, is it? But it's, uh, it is indeed a herb. I saw a few beardies on the way in. Grumpy! A few beardies on the way in. Uh, so this is not my first herb, but it's your first herb. So this trip wasn't a total failure. Today's actually, um, it's a little bit cooler than the rest of the days and I've already seen three beardies and now Stumpy so we should be uh should hopefully be on for at least a snake I'd be happy about that all right let's get you off the road I'm gonna hit you with that yoink here he goes if you see a Stumpy on the road get it off the road don't get bitten by it though it sucks I have been here before um I didn't find anything here last time so we shall see how we go. There's also not as much tin as I remember, but I'm pretty sure there's more hiding elsewhere. Because I ain't left in that. There's not as much as I remember. I'm experiencing some sadness. That's just the first piece I've found. I've been looking for a little bit. Maybe I'm not on for tin. I do have another spot. I just have no idea how to find it again. So. Uh oh. And a beautiful tin spot. That is not mine. I did not make this. I've seen this before. Um, whoever's tin site this is, if you watch this video, God bless you. This is a good site. It's only the second time we've ever been here. It's kind of an awkward time of day to be hitting it. But you never know, do you? Well, there's a fucking Delma right there. That's a good start. I stopped the video because I tried to get him, but I lost him instantly. It was definitely a marble face Delma, though. Believe me on that. It's possible that this little flip side was made for something like invertebrates. I don't know why I'm overthinking this. It's definitively a herb site. I just don't really run into other herb sites. So this is quite, um, oh, I will cover that up. I don't know what they were, but that was bloody cute and I won't disturb it any longer. As it would turn out, these little guys were what's called Western Pygmy Possums or Southwestern Pygmy Possums. Uh, they are least concerned, uh, but I've just never seen anything like this before, so I was really excited, as you can very clearly tell, but they're cute. I'm going to go back and have a look, but I better not. If I can find any snake, then we've had a successful beginning, because it's still very early in the season. But it's feeling really good, and it's actually a good time of year to find diurnal snakes. Well, the ants love it. Man, I feel like this is a survey site more than just a herpa site. These, it's too, like, well-placed. Herpas aren't this talented. Gross, the best thing we've found, basically the only thing worthwhile that we've found is, is the type of M word, it's disgusting. Not even a skink so far. This is looking a little bit barren. A reptile off at least. If you're a mammala, you'd be happy. Nice holes, pick up line. I can't imagine those little bloody mammaly things are all that common. I've never seen them before, especially not in Victoria. But the only, if they are planted gales, the only planted gales I've ever seen are in bloody South Australia. Well, there's a gecko, there's a herp finally. It looks a bit frozen. Um, little marble gecko. A marble gecko for you. Looks very cold. Poor little cold boy. Hey, icy little lizard. I'll cover you back up, little dude. I just got out because I decided I'm going to have a walk. That is a dingo footprint. People don't think that we have dingoes in Victoria, but it is a, well, in the western half of Victoria, but it is 
a pure pure uh, genetic dingo they've been tested here in this park specifically the old big desert they've been tested and they are pure dingo then moved over to Murray Sunset instead of being in Big Desert, which proved to be a mistake. The herping was quite slow. We saw a few lizards, uh, but you'll see later on we ended up moving to a little bit further east, which proved to be pretty productive. Um. That's so sad because it was so nice. <laughs> Let's be honest, we're going to find more beardies. Mm. You might be able to get a... Um, species though. Looks big. Is it a beardy? It's just a big old painty. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Apparently we got a mallee fowl up here. Hi oh, yep. I don't know what about to hit him. <laughs> oh lord. Oh lord, you lord. Come on, climb him. Do it. Do it. Yeah, you're thinking about it. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Here he is. Oh, they're so cute. I want to pet one. I know. I'm going to the same <laughs> Looks like he's holding his hand. He's got a proposition to make. Did you get a setting you want? Um, no. <laughs> Looks stupid from this angle. Yeah. First stumpy of the day, little cutie. He's actually got a good shaped head. Most of the stumpies out here have hideous heads, but he looks like a good looking stumpy. He's a handsome little man. Ah. Oh, he's terrifying. Look at that scary beastie. <laughs> he doesn't like the flash. We're then finally on the drive home, see a snake. It's an eastern brown snake. It's the most common snake I could possibly see in Victoria, but it's a snake. We've got it started, how exciting. But I got more than I bargained for with this one. It's too greedy. That's sick. We decided to watch the happy couple, uh, let them do their thing instead of disturbing them. And then when they finished up, we decided to have a bit of a closer look at one of them. Lazy, that's you better. Boyfriend. There you go. Produce for us. And just like that, we had a successful roundup of our first trip, first snake tripped off of the EVS challenge. Tune in for next time. We'll see if we can find something else.